Hey guys, it's Ivana and welcome to the Intellecta. Today we are going to be doing something interesting and it's about finding the derivative. We are going to do this example over here and if you try to solve this by your own, you will notice that it can be solved in the standard way. So we have to apply something special for this case and it's called the logarithmic differentiation. If you want to know more about this, stay tuned and let's get started. So we have y equals sine x to the cosine of x and we want to find the derivative. Every time when you have uh, two functions and one function is in the base and the second one is the exponent, that means every time when you have the form like this, y equals the function f of x to the function g of x. So one function is in the base and the second one is in the exponent and you want to find the derivative then you should apply the logarithmic differentiation. The logarithmic differentiation involves two steps. The first one is to take the logarithm of both sides and the second one is to differentiate both sides. So let's start with the first one. Let's take the logarithm of both sides. So ln of y equals ln sine x to the cosine of x. Here we have ln sine x to the cosine of x and we can apply the power rule for the logarithm. If you don't know, the power rule is logarithm y uh, to the n with the base a equals n, so this exponent n goes to the front times logarithm of y with the base a. So the same we are going to do here. We have exponent cosine of x and it goes to the front and now we have ln of y equals cosine x times ln sine x. So this was the first step. Let's apply the second step. The second step is to differentiate both sides. So we have d dx of ln of y equals d dx of cosine x times ln sine x. Okay, and now here d dx of ln of y. We have to find the derivative of ln of y. And here we have the composite function. Composite function is the function that depends on another function. So, and if we want to find the derivative of composite function, we have to apply the chain rule. The chain rule we have here. So, if you want to find the derivative of function, composite function, you have f of g of x, and it is equal to the derivative of the first function times the derivative of the second function. So, we have ln of y. Uh, and we want to find the derivative of it, we have to find the derivative, we have to differentiate first of all ln of y, this is 1 over y, times, because this y is also the function of x, this y is here, we have dy dx. And our goal is to find this here, dy dx, because we want to find the derivative of this here. And now we have here, we have d dx of this here. In, we have two functions, multiplication of two functions. And we want to find the derivative of two functions uh, with multiplication. That means we have to use the product rule. The product rule is... So this is the product rule. The product rule says if you have two multiplication of two functions and you want to find its derivative, it's the... the der uh, the derivative of the first function times the second function plus first function times the derivative of the second function. Let's apply this here. We have cosine of x times ln sine of x. Our first function is cosine of x and the first step is to take the derivative to find the derivative of cosine of x and it's minus sine of x times ln sine of x. So this function stays as it is, ln sine x plus first function, the same, 
tau is the derivative of the second function. The derivative of this function, this is composite function, once again, so we have once again the composite function. Here we have ln of y, but here we have ln sine x. So we have to differentiate first ln of sine x, and this is 1 over sine x times uh, sine of x. Uh, the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. Cosine of x over sine x is contagion of x. And now, we said our goal is to find dy dx. And now, we want to get rid of this y. Let's multiply both sides with y. y and y are going to cancel. And then we have just dy dx equals. Here we have y times this all here. But our y is sine x to the cosine of x. So let's write this here. Sine x to the cosine of x times minus sinus x times ln sinus x plus cosine of x times cotangent of x. And this is our result. So we found the derivative of sine x to the cosine of x and this is this here. So once again, when you want to find the derivative of something like this, when you have one function in the base and the second one is in the exponent, you can apply the logarithmic differentiation. You have two steps. The first one is to take the logarithm of both sides and the second one is to differentiate both sides. So guys, if you like this method and if you like this video, please leave a like. If you have some questions, please ask in the comment section down below. If you haven't, Subscribe, please subscribe and till the next video, stay healthy, stay positive and do some math.